forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Becker coming to you with a topic session. Today, we are here with Destiny Jones, a great lady that's doing some really neat things, been blessed and fortunate to achieve some really cool things. And now what she does is she's you know able to use those things that she's learned to help others. And so, so glad to have her on. And our topic today is going to be growth. So first, before we start, though, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to jump on and do this topic session with me. No doubt. All right. Well, let's let's dive into it. Let's hit on growth. What what is your definition of growth? Um, I think my personal definition of growth is okay. I'm sorry. Am I looking into the camera or am I not? Oh, you're good. Wherever you want to look, okay. you're all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I think my definition of growth is gonna kind of be like pretty much like the Webster definition of mm -hmm. just like increasing in size. I mean. And that could be like increasing in any aspect um, of your life. For me, um, I've I've uh, experienced some growth in a lot of different places that I didn't know that I had to experience growth in within the last uh, almost two years. So growth to me is just like increasing in any aspect that it may be. Oh, okay, I, I like that, uh, and and I also like how you said that you know it's like different areas, you know, I think, you know, it starts from looking within. I think you have to look within the wind. I agree. You know, and I think once you are able to focus in, eliminate the distractions and look within and don't worry about all of the other things that's out there, you know, it allows you to, you know, keep your eyes on the prize, if you will, and, you know, focus in and, and, and really just get where you want to be, you know, right. personally. Right. I agree. I definitely agree. Okay, so let's let's hit on some steps of growth. Uh, what are what do you feel are some steps that one should take uh, to allow them to grow in their life? Um, I feel um, I do agree with you with what you said about um, looking within first. Yeah, I think that for me personally, there were um, some areas that I needed to grow in in my life that I was. Um, I'm not going to say running from, but I think mm -hmm. that I kind of got a little complacent in some areas um, that I needed to grow in in my life. And I feel that I had disconnected from people um, who were holding me accountable for growing. And when I did that, um, I began to get complacent. And um, once I noticed that and I wanted to get back to that place to where I knew like, hey, you have to do better. Um, it was kind of challenging for me, but um, I feel that sometimes with my personal experiences, I feel that sometimes God will put you in situations to where you have no choice but to grow. You have no choice but to look within to grow. Um, yeah. I've been put in some situations <laughs> just within the past year that I've just been like, man, like yeah. I would have never gotten here if I wouldn't have been forced to do this or forced to do that. So I would definitely say, um, looking within first because um, I mean you you have to have a plan and I feel like you have to be able to look at yourself and you have to be able once you develop that plan um, I just lost my train of thought <laughs> so look within develop your plan yeah so I think you need to look within once you look within um, you develop a plan and like I said sometimes you get put in tough situations to where you have to uh, where you're forced to um, develop a plan to make that next step in whatever area that it may be. Um, once you got to, once you got your plan, um, something that one of uh, a really successful guy used to say, um, he used to say, uh, "Cut the tape off." <laughs> All right. All right. So for me, uh, the steps for growth is uh, looking within 
developing a plan. And once you have your plan, uh, once you plan your work, it's time to work your plan. Um, I think that uh, those steps have helped me in a lot of areas. Like I said, I've been put in some situations and some uh, scenarios here lately that I didn't have no choice but to grow. And yeah. I, like I said, God will do that to you sometimes. And I, I it, it sometimes it takes some time, but I, I'm I'm finally seeing some of uh, the end results, and I'm like, okay, that's why I had to do that. It, it might have took a year, it might have took some months, but I had to do that. I had to go through that in order to get here. So, um, growth is something that is really hitting home for me um, right okay. now. You know, you, you you talked about a couple of things that resonated with me. I think you know, first you talked about accountability. You mentioned, you know, being around people that will hold you accountable. I think it's so important to have an environment to where uh, you're around people that that push you to be better. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, if you're around people that, you know, are, you know, just allowing the same or, you know, you're not learning from or growing from. You know, I think it's important to put ourselves in different environments. And I can reflect on, you know, my life. You know, uh, anytime I was in an environment where I had to push myself to be better or stretch myself, man, I got better and it helped me in my life. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. And I think that sometimes it's hard for us to see that. For me, it, it was kind of hard for me to see that. And it took me going through some things and taking some L's to actually realize, yeah. dang, like, this is not what I need to be doing. This is not where I need to be. But I think that I'm always that person for everybody else. Like, hey, you need to be going harder. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. But you know how they say, like, sometimes a strong friend, like, sometimes a strong friend needs somebody. So yeah. um, I think that for the most part, I was around. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I'm around these people that's just letting me do this or just letting me do that. But I will say that sometimes I think when your circle becomes so dependent on I mean, you have different, different people have different roles in different, in every circle. So, you know, like, I think that in my circle, I'm looked at as the one that's, you know, like people look at me like, Hey, you all, you always grinding, you always hustling, you always doing this. When in reality, you know, they think like, Oh, well, you're good. You know, you don't need any motivation. You don't need an extra push. So, um, again, that, that accountability is something that I had to learn. Like I said, after taking some L's that, hey, this is what I need. And that's just something that I try to provide for so many people. I mean, my students, my friends, and my relationship is just something that I think is extremely important for growth. Yeah, there's a um, there's a famous um, musician. Uh, you know, he says, you know, in order to live a good life, you got to turn your L's into lessons, right? Hey. And, 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 that's, and, that's what a, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's just... Um, a lot of times, I think it starts with the mindset. You know, I think the mindset is you know, if we understand that those L's, those those losses, really it's not losses. It's it's things that will make us better because it'll show us what we need to be better at, you know, right. what we need to grow in. And so, you know, once we, you know, watch the tape or, mm. you know, evaluate, you know, what it is, our moves and our actions and see where we made mistakes, then now – all right, now we can fix it and go on to be better. And I think that's, that, that really helps us in that growth process. I like that. I like how you said when we watch the tape, you know, sometimes yeah. I, I get so caught up on like, well, I, I think I've been a person that, uh, fortunately, like I haven't just really went through a whole bunch of, you know, I talk to some people like, man, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Like yeah. I just really haven't just went through a whole, whole bunch of stuff. So when things arise in my life it's like oh wait hold on like this yeah. doesn't happen to me so you know I think sometimes we can get so caught up on you know like not not, not understanding like this is going to help me in the long run and I know I just want to encourage somebody like I know I've been there yeah. there's been situations and times and struggles where I done been like man like why I gotta go through this why is this happening to me and you know my aunt would always say um you know like God gives the toughest battles to the strongest, to the, to his strongest warriors. And, you know, she, she told me like, you got to look at it like this. Like what, like when I asked, like, why is this happening to me, happening to me? She said, why isn't this happening to you? Like, you got to look at it like that. Like this is happening to you for a reason. Like, why isn't this happening to you? Yeah. So um, I think I, I just want to encourage somebody that, Hey, once you get to look at the tape, you it, it'll all come full circle for you. 
No doubt. And I think, too, another thing on top of that is I think when you – I'm a big mindset, positive thought person. And I think when you when we change it from uh, I have to to I get to, yeah. you know, we, we realize that we are fortunate and blessed. Like, like I don't – it's not, I don't have to go to work. Like, like I get to go to work. There's right. a whole lot of people that don't have that. Like, you know, I don't have to grind and hustle. Like, like I get to grind and hustle. Yeah. You know, it's a whole lot of people that, that, that don't get to do that. And so right. I think when we change our perspective, man, I think we grow in a major way. I definitely agree with that. And you know, this is, this is helping me <laughs> as yeah. I'm talking and I like this, this is helping me. So thank Good. you. Oh, yeah, good deal. And the goal, you know, really is, it's crazy how, too, when we get to express those things and reflect on the things that we've gone through, um, it shows us that there's purpose in it. And that's the next thing I want to hit on with you is, you know, pain the purpose. Yeah. You know, in that growth process, you know, we go through some pains, but then eventually we find out what our purpose is. What are some scenarios in your life where, you know, you've had some pains or, or something that you're willing to share maybe that have revealed purpose for you? Um, I definitely think that, um, I'll speak on my personal experience. So I recently went through a divorce and, um, when I left home for college, um, uh, I'm not going to say I was completely sheltered, but I was sheltered. Um, when I got to college, I got involved with, um, someone who became my husband and that was basically all I knew. I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't, I didn't know how to pay bills. I didn't know how to do anything like that's, that was just all I knew and that's all he did for me. So I feel like in, I, I feel like I kind of got lost in who he was creating me to be and not in a bad way. You know, I, I just feel like I kind of got lost as a person and I feel like I wasn't able to experience some things um, that most people would experience because I wasn't doing it. Um, so I, I feel that um, after I went through, well, while I was going through my divorce, um, I was able to see who I really was and I was able to self-reflect and learn a whole bunch of things about me that I didn't know about me. Um, and I think that it was painful because then again, I was thinking like, why am I going through this? Why do I have to go through this? Mm -hmm. so, and once I got to watch the tape, as I'm getting to watch the tape now, you know, it's it's helped me in so many ways. And I feel that I've been able to help so many people in so many ways, because at the end of the day, I think that happiness and success should, is the goal for me. And I think that's the goal for most people. I think success, but happiness, um, I think happiness can lead to success and happiness has always been one of my goals um, in, in anything. I, I don't care what it is. And um, having to self reflect has caused me to be extremely happy. And I'll say having to self reflect has caused, I, I'll say pain to some people because having to self reflect has caused me to, detach myself from so many situations and so many different people and to them they may look at it like hey she don't fool me no more and that may be painful for for them but it's just taking me to a whole nother level and I guess that's why I keep on going back to looking within um I feel that my purpose here is to help people in whatever aspect it may be I mean if I can help you learn how to tie your shoe, if I can help you learn how to do whatever it is, um, I feel that I can't help you until I've helped myself. Mm. And in order to be able to help myself, I have to know who I am. I have to know what I stand for. I have to know what I want. And in order to know those things, you have to be able to self-reflect and figure out who you are. And the pain in figuring out who you are has, like I said, it, it's it's been painful, but it's also been a really, really cool um, process. Um, like I said, like, like you said, once you get to watch the tape and kind of know like, oh, okay, now I see what this was for. Um, I'm having those moments every day, yeah. you know, like it, it's continuing to happen to me every day. Like y'all went through a divorce, but hey, that's caused me to do this or that's caused me to do that. And um, 
you know, oftentimes when people say, you know, because everybody doesn't know. So some people say, hey, how's your husband? Or, hey, your husband is. And I say, I'm not married. Their first thing is, I'm sorry. And I say, hey, don't be sorry because you don't know what that's done for me. And, yeah. and I'm not saying that to be shady or to be ugly to anybody. But I think I personally look for um, the best in any situation, whatever it may be. And like, like, you know, like turning your pain into purpose, like whatever's thrown my way, like I've just learned that, hey, you got to make the good out of whatever the situation is. And that's just what I've done. Um, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I'm proud. I'm happy every day. You know, I went through this and everything's all hunky dory because it's not. But right. in the game, it's a learning process and it's a growing process. And um, it's, it's just been able to make me self-reflect and look back and see, you know, like how far I've actually come and that it's, it's just been a really, really cool thing. And I just celebrated my birthday yesterday. So I turned 31 and I would have never thought <laughs> I would be here like doing it on many different levels, not just divorce, but on many different levels. Like I never thought like I'd be here. And, you know, sometimes I complain like, dang, man, I thought I'd be doing this by this age. I thought I've already I would have already accomplished this or that by this age, but then when I actually like self-reflect and look back, I'm like, dang, here I am killing it. I am killing it, you know, so, because I get to do these things. And like yeah. I said, there's a lot of people that are 31 who haven't been able to do the things that I've been able to do. And I feel like I just scratched the surface and for whatever reason, whatever's happened, like I thank God for it. You know, I, 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 Whenever I find myself complaining or asking or worrying, I'm like, you know what, God, I thank you for what you, what, however you finna use this situation yeah. to help me or to help somebody. Like, thank you. Like, I'm grateful that you're using me to be able to get somebody else through or to be able to pull out something else better within me. So, turning that pain into purpose has been something like, like I said, it, it done hit home, yeah. like, like for me, and it, it's been a really, really cool experience. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that and, and and looking within and reflecting on that. I think, you know, when we go through things, uh, the more we go through the things, the more it allows us to grow through. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and what I mean by that is, you know, just like, you know, using the athletic analogy, you know, reps make you better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and so the more reps you can get at it, then now as you as you go through tough things, it doesn't affect you as much because now, oh yeah, okay. And then you get to a point, you get on a roll, right? And then now you're like, hey, come on, bring it on, you know. Uh, and you yeah. feel that confidence, and and now you're you're able to soar to high heights. But other than that, you know, you get better. But but more than that, which is most important, you get to help others be better. Yeah. And then uh, that's when it allows you to have a fulfilled life. I I definitely agree, and I, I'll say. You know, I, I people say, and people talk, and I used to let people get to me, but I don't care what people say. Like, right. people know what they want to say. You know, I used to let, get, let people get to me. You know, they say, well, she's changed. You know, she's she's done this, and, you know, she wasn't like that. And, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> growing through your go-through, like, it, it's got to be. I, I feel like I am a different person, and I feel like there are so many things that I would – accept or be comfortable with before that I'm like like no nah, you can miss me with that and, and whatever sit the situation yeah. may be and I, like I said like I think maybe that's caused pain to some people because they can't understand or they don't understand like hey I'm going to a new level and you can't take everybody with you to the next level and um I man <laughs> God is good <laughs> yeah, that's it that's God it well, again, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to, you know, talk the topic session growth. Yeah. It's always good when we can um, look in our life, look within the wind and reflect yeah. and, and use our experiences uh, to not only help ourselves be better, but to help others. And one, this one other point before we get off, you know, I okay. wanted to hit on, okay. um, you know, in, a, in, a, in an airplane, you know, they tell you, you know, if something happens, you know, you put your mask on yourself first and yeah. then put it on others, check the others. I think that's how it is in life. I mean, you know, in our life, like if, if we're not able to take care of ourselves, and that's not a selfish thing. I'm not saying right. me, 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 I. No, I'm not saying it like that. What I'm saying is you know, really work every day to be the best version of ourselves. 
you know, and I think if we can like really do that and focus in, and I think organically the distractions go away. Oh yeah. Organically we fall into our lane of things that we love to do. And then organically it allows us to just, you know, be a blessing to so many, you know, we're blessed to be a blessing, I believe. Come on here, preacher. Let's go. Oh, here. <laughs> uh, I, I like that. I, I, I like that. And, uh, I'm grateful to be able to uh, come to you and share my thoughts and stuff. I appreciate yeah. you having me here today. Uh, like I said, this has helped me. Yeah. Uh, and I hope that this helps somebody also. It definitely will. And again, thank you so much. And thank you guys for checking out this growth session, topic session. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.